Hello, and welcome to the Demoet series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this Demoet, we discuss connecting as a client to TDV via ODBC. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining ODBC client connectivity to TDV and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of ODBC connectivity. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoette. Let's begin by discussing what ODBC connectivity is and why it's important for our customers. ODBC stands for Open Database Connectivity. It is an API that allows client software to connect to SQL databases. ODBC is product independent which means it can be used to connect to many database products, including TDV. It is also language independent, which means that programmers may use any language they prefer. ODBC requires that a driver program be installed on each client machine. TIBCO provides both 32-bit and 64-bit drivers that may be used to connect clients to TDV. A very important concept in ODBC is a data structure called a data source name, or DSN. A DSN contains connection information for a specific database. On Windows, the DSN resides either in the registry or as a separate text file. It is also possible to install DSNs on Unix, but this is less common and is beyond the scope of this demoette. The DSN contains information such as the name, directory, and driver of the database and may include the ID and password of the user. A separate DSN is created for each database. There are three kinds of DSNs. User DSNs, sometimes called machine DSNs, system DSNs, and file DSNs. User and system DSNs are specific to a particular computer and store DSN information in the registry. A user DSN allows database access for a single user on a single computer, and a system DSN allows access for any user of a particular computer. A file DSN contains the relevant information within a text file with a .dsn file extension, and can be shared by users of different computers who have the same drivers installed. For most purposes, TIBCO recommends the use of system DSNs. They are more flexible to administer and use. ODBC connectivity to TDV is important for many of our customers. It is the most convenient option for connecting to TDV from Excel and other Microsoft-centric products. In addition, ODBC may be central to the data access architecture of some enterprises. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of ODBC connectivity to TDV. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. We have created a TDV federated view from underlying physical data sources. A business analyst wants to consume this view into an Excel spreadsheet. We will use ODBC to enable Excel to connect to TDV. Before you begin this demo, make sure you have the appropriate published resource for your ODBC client connection. No CAR file is required for this demo. Simply publish the view order view that is delivered with Studio in the examples folder. Publish as a database using the data source, catalog, and schema shown here. You should always use a catalog when publishing an ODBC data source because the DSN definition asks for one as we will see later. ODBC requires different DSNs for 32-bit and 64-bit access. Therefore, our first step is to determine the bitness we need. This is not necessarily the bitness of the machine. Instead, it is dependent on the bitness of the client software. To find the bitness of our version of Excel, we look at the Account tab, then click About Excel. We see that our version of Excel is 32-bit, even though it is running on a 64-bit machine. We now know that we must create a 32-bit ODBC DSN. 
Windows also uses different control panel interfaces for 32 and 64-bit DSNs. If we search for data sources in the Windows 7 control panel on a 64-bit machine, we get a link to the 64-bit administration interface, even though Windows does not explicitly label it as 64-bit. To get to the 32-bit administration window, we need to navigate to the SysWile64 directory. WILE stands for Windows on Windows, and yes, it contains 32-bit resources, even though the name of the directory ends in 64. Search for odbcad32.exe in this directory, and double-click it to start the 32-bit administration window. Note that Windows 8 is a bit more friendly. A search for data sources in the control panel gives us clearly labeled links to both 32 and 64-bit admin interfaces. Navigate to the Drivers tab and make sure the composite driver is installed. If it is not present, follow documentation instructions from Chapter 3 of the Client Interfaces Guide to install the driver on the client machine. Note that there are separate drivers for 32-bit and 64-bit clients. Here we show the installation of the 32-bit client. Now we are ready to create the DSN. Click the System DSN tab on the ODBC administration window, select Add, and the Create New Data Source wizard appears. The first step is to select the composite driver. Next, we configure the driver. Give it any DSN name you prefer, but a best practice is to end the name with 32 or 64 in order to avoid any confusion about the bitness of the DSN. For composite host, enter the host name or IP address of the TDV server. The default TDV port for ODBC is 9401. Enter the TDV username and password, as well as the user's TDV domain name. Note that our data source name for this demoet is demoet ODBC. Click the refresh button, and all catalogs within this data source will be accessible in the drop down widget. In this case, only one catalog is present. Remember that you should always create a catalog when you publish ODBC accessible resources in TDV. Click the Test button to make sure the connection is successful. Now we can connect the actual production client to TDV. In this demo ad, we will use Excel as our client. Go to the Data tab, choose From Other Sources, and then select From Microsoft Query. This opens the Microsoft Query wizard. We select the DSN we defined for TDV and click OK. Now we choose the columns we want to include and specify any filter criteria we want. Continuing with the Query wizard, we specify any sort criteria if desired, tell the query to return data to Excel, and tell Excel to import the data to the existing worksheet. The data is returned to Excel via the ODBC connection, and our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. Open Database Connectivity is an API that allows client software to connect to SQL databases. ODBC is product independent and language independent. ODBC requires that a driver program be installed on each client machine. TIBCO provides both 32-bit and 64-bit drivers that may be used to connect clients to TDV. A data source name contains connection information for a specific database. For most purposes, TIBCO recommends the use of system DSNs because they are more flexible to administer and use. ODBC connectivity to TDV is important for many of our customers. It is the most convenient option for connecting to TDV from Excel and other Microsoft-centric projects. In addition, ODBC may be central to the data access architecture of some enterprises. Thank you.